Hi everybody, this is Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Oh, we're going to throw down some cards for Gemini. Tis time. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first half of April. If it resonates with you, okay, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. And if it doesn't resonate, feel free to just forget that it ever happened. Forget you ever saw it. Or check your moon rising or Venus signs. But keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. And just because it's not resonating now doesn't mean it's not going to resonate later. And all the things can and maybe vice versa play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And you guys are welcome here too. Another thing you might want to keep in mind is that this is a general reading and it is not going to resonate with every Gemini. Hence the word general. Alright. Alright, Gemini, let's have some fun. Why are you at my table today, Gemini? You could be dealing with an, no, Taurus? Taurus, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Yeah, Taurus, I get them confused. God, she's gorgeous. She's very in touch spiritually. Intuition. She's all knowing and yet she keeps her secrets well. She's pretty cool like that. All right. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Page of Pentacles reversed. Things are at a standstill. Stagnant as stagnant gets. Nothing's moving. What do you think of the person? Reversed. You think there might be a little unfinished business. What do you want from this person? Ace of Pentacles reversed. Some of you may be wondering if you just need to throw the house plant out in the backyard and see if it grows on its own, or if you need to keep it in the house and keep watering it. It's what you want. How do they feel? Ten of Swords. They feel about you. They feel like a painful cycle needs to end. They feel like the sun needs to shine again. What do they think of you? Six of Swords, they think you're moving on. Well, some of you might be moving on if you're contemplating throwing the house plan out the back door. <coughs> what do they want from you? He said once. They want a passionate new start. Maybe the person you're dealing with kind of gets a sense that this isn't over either. The high priestess sitting over there. She knows what's up. I think deep down you know what's up too. You're connected. There's definitely a connection here. What's the challenge? Strength. 
polarities in a relationship. One trying to overtake the other. Ah. Okay. Now I see what's going on. Well, what needs to be done? The tower. Reminds me of something my grandmother said once. Sometimes you gotta let things just go to shit. So you can pick it up and build it again. Sometimes tornadoes come and take your house out so you can build the house you want. Maybe things need to shake up a little bit. The tower does not have to be... It's actually like my favorite card. It doesn't have to be bad, guys. Sudden and abrupt change does not have to be bad. We just generally just don't like change, so. Oh, potential outcome, Queen of Swords. She's reversed. This is not honest communication. This is off with her head. Get a little nobody panic. Nobody panic. Let's get a little clarity. A little clarity. As far as major arcana, I have Taurus, I have Lego, I have Scorpio. I got a little bit of earth, a little bit of air, a little bit of fire. No water on the board yet. Except for that Scorpio card in the tower. Hmm. There was your options down a little bit, doesn't it? They could have it in their chart, too. Or the zodiac signs could mean absolutely nothing, and it's just the energy coming off the card. Whatever you take out of it, you take out of it. I just read the cards, gang. It's not my path. I'm not in your shoes right now. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get a little clarity on the cards on the table for Gemini today? For their first half of April reading, please and thank you, Source and Spirit. Hot dog! Two of Wands. Do you hang on? Do you let go? Do you hang on? Or do you let go and move forward? Which wand do you pick? Which path do you take? It's decision time. For one, if not both of you. Do you keep water in the house plant or do you throw it out in the backyard and let it just grow? See what it does. My mother used to do that. She'd kill a house plant, she'd dump it out in the backyard. If it started to grow, she'd dig it back up, bring it back in the house. No lie. I wouldn't bullshit you. These things actually happened. I love my mother. God rest her. <coughs> Sometimes you have to let things go out on their own. See what happens. If it comes back to life, it comes back to life. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed here for how Gemini feels about the person they're dealing with? One card, please. Two of Cups reversed. Things are grinding to a halt. The connection's being lost. Why is the world reversed here for what Gemini thinks of the other person? Are you going to give me a card or are you going to make me take one? Thank you, the hermit.
There's unfinished business. Possibly some spiritual differences. Polarities, if you will. They definitely think you're healing from something. You haven't quite finished something out yet. You have unfinished business. You're still chewing through something. Or sorry, that's how you feel. That's what you think of them. Could be vice versa. They have unfinished business that they're dealing with. Something they're healing from. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for what Gemini wants from the other person? Where'd you go? Four of Wands reversed. I think y you just want them to make a decision. Are you going to end it or are you going to end it? Are you going to shut the door or are you going to shut the door? Are we shutting the door, closing it out, throwing the house plan out and seeing what it does? What are we doing? I think ultimately you just want them to make a decision, Gemini. Why is the Ten of Swords upright here for what the other person feels about Gemini? How they feel. Strength reversed. They feel drained. They just want this to come to an end. They want the sun to shine again. The sun isn't shining right now. People aren't happy. There's disconnects. Things have ground to a halt. People have unfinished business they have to deal with. People need to make decisions. Why is the Six of Swords up right here for what the other person thinks of Gemini? Five of Pentacles. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, we have another jumper. Three of Pentacles reversed. Okay. This isn't coming together. We can't make this work for whatever reason. Somebody's being left out in the cold and somebody's hopping in a boat. Off for distant shores. Moving on. They think you've already moved on. What do they want from you? Why is the Ace of Wands up here? Why is the Ace of Wands here for what Gemini wants? Oh my goodness. Why is the Ace of Wands here? What the other person wants from Gemini. I'm getting all tongue-tied. Energy's draining out. I might not be able to do three readings today. We're going to try, though. Tower reversed. You want to rebuild the tower. That's beautiful. They want a passionate start with you. They want to get this going. They want to rebuild the tower. There's only one problem though. The tower is still standing. The tower hasn't fallen yet. You can't fix what isn't broke. In their head, something's broken. Something's not working. And it's draining.
Because they need to heal from some unfinished business from a cycle that they never closed out. That's how I'm reading this right now. The challenge here is strength. The challenge here is differences. The lady and the lion. Seven of pentacles reversed and three of wands reversed. Somebody's being impatient and somebody doesn't want to wait. Differences. Good things come to those who wait. If that's what you choose to do, it's not my journey. Impatience, impatience, impatience. Somebody is trying to control the flow of time and destiny, and you can't do that. You have to let people take their time. We control our own destinies, not the destinies of other people. And sometimes you have to throw a house plant out the back door and see if it's going to grow on its own. And then go back and dig it back up and bring it back in the house. Nine of Wands came out. One last push. Everybody else is throwing their wands on the ground. What are you fighting, Gemini? Are you fighting something that's not there? Everybody else has laid their weapons down. I'm going to put this back in. Because I put absolutely no intention into the card. So we're going to see if it comes back out again. Why is the tower up right here for what needs to be done? Sudden and abrupt change, shake-ups, game changers. Ace of Pentacles reversed and the Magician reverse popped out. You cannot control the destinies of other people. You cannot manifest into other people's lives what you want. I mean, you can. I don't recommend it. Don't energetically screw with people like that. That's not okay. Because then karma definitely comes back to get you. I'm just saying. What needs to be done? Sudden and abrupt change. Let the house plant grow in the backyard for a while. Don't try to manipulate the situation. Why is the Queen of Swords reversed here for the potential outcome? <laughs> I just heard cut him loose. Cut him loose. Ace of Cups reversed. Oh man. Well, Gemini, it, it's not all sunshine and roses, but it never is. But I see the potential for it to be there. You just need to give someone their space and their time. See what happens. Throw the house plan out the back door.
Or if you're the house plant, walk out the back door yourself. Yeah. Gosh, this is scattered today. Maybe I'm the one I'm the one being scattered today. I might do bonuses if this isn't making sense to anybody. Alright. Knight of Wands reversed. Nine of Swords reversed. Yeah. Take your time and don't overthink it. Don't let this consume you. You only have a certain amount of control. You definitely feel the connection. Somebody definitely needs to make a choice. But somebody also needs to process things. Somebody has a cycle they've got to close out. It's not coming together until this happens. I think what needs to happen here is the houseplant going out the back door. I don't think you want to. We don't always want to separate from people that we love or care about, but sometimes you gotta love them enough to let them go. And if the house plant starts to grow in the backyard, dig it back up, bring it back in the house and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna cut out of here. I gotta run to the grocery store real fast and then come directly back home because we're under a stay in place order. So I will catch you guys um, in a couple of weeks for your second half April reading. I will be posting the weekend top and bottom reading either tonight or tomorrow morning. And our live special is still on. We will still be going live on March 31st. We just have to figure out how we're going to do this. Um, I may have Neon come on remotely somehow. We're still kind of working on the logistics of that. but And we're going to have a couple guest moderators. I'm not going to say who they are, though. I love you guys. Be blessed. Take care. Catch you later. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay six feet apart from people at all times. Catch you soon.